Hi, welcome to Knowing Him. It's Pastor Mark. I'm glad that you've joined us. Just want to encourage you today. Uh, John chapter 15, verse 7 says this. If you abide in me and my words abide in you, then you shall ask what you will and it shall be done unto you. I just want to help you uh, to receive all that God has for you today. The Bible says it shall be done. So those are the strongest words that he could, the Lord Jesus could ever give you. He said it shall be done. And a lot of times with the promises of God, which you all know are yes and amen in Christ Jesus, there are things that we have to do on our side. So there's always a God side and a man side. So the God side is it shall be done. It is finished. It's what I want you to have. But then there's some things that we have to do in order to position ourselves to receive. And one of the things you notice with the Lord is he's always trying to position you to receive what he has done for you. So let's look at this first thing. It says, if you abide in me, what does abide mean? To abide means to be vitally united to or connected to. And so when you're vitally united to him, you, remember, you know, the Bible talks about, you know, that he's the vine, we're the branches. Uh, you could say that, you know, uh, he's the life source. He's the root. Everything begins and ends in him. And when you're abiding in him, that means you're uh, vitally united, vitally connected to him. And so it looks a certain way, though. So if you look there and uh, if that's John's gospel, but first John has something to say about uh, abiding abiding in him and what it looks like. So we can tell because he said, if you abide in me and my words abide in you, then you can ask what you will and it shall be done. So if we want to get to the shall be done, then we have to uh, do what he said at the beginning. He said, you got to abide in me. And so this is what it says in 1 John chapter 1, verse number 6. He that says he abides in him ought also himself also ought to walk even as he walked. He says, if, you, if you're saying, I do abide in him, then you ought to walk as Jesus walked. So what does that mean? So that's, just, that's really uh, conduct. It's a manner of living. So we're not doing this in our own strength, but if we say we're abiding to him, then the fruit of the spirit ought to be showing up in our life. We, we ought to be um, walking like Jesus walked. And when you're abiding in him, you're one with him. So when someone looks at us, they ought to be, say, be able to say, hey, there looks, that's, that's someone who looks just like Jesus. That's someone who talks just like Jesus. That's someone who is doing what the Lord himself will be doing if he's on the earth. Not in your own strength, not in your own power, but because you're vitally united with him, because you're one with him, then you are connected to him. I often use this example. I don't know any other better example. It's like a semi truck and a trailer. Uh, you've never seen a trailer go down the interstate all by itself. That's a wreck waiting to happen. Yet many Christians are that trailer. He's the head, we're the body. He's uh, the vine, we're the branches. Uh, without him, you and I can do nothing. And we all know that. But if he's not the head and we're not the and we are the trailer, we have to be vitally united. In other words, wherever the 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 semi part of the, the the tractor truck part, wherever it goes, the trailer just automatically follows. That is what being vitally united to him looks like, where you are so one with him that where he goes, you follow in your life. What he says is what you say. What he would do is what you would do in every situation. And so that's what it looks like to be uh, united with him, vitally united with him, being one with him. And when you do that, you're reaching half of the equation because remember what Jesus said. He said um, in John 15, 7, if you abide in me, live vitally united to me and my words abide in you. The word of God is vitally united in you. You're one with the word. Then and only then can you ask what you will and then it shall be done. I want to encourage you. God wants to do some great things for you to do. Just check and make sure that you're vitally united to him, that you're walking with him, that you're one with him. And then next time we'll look maybe a little bit more at being one with the word so that you can walk in all that God has for you. Until next time, it's Pastor Mark. I want you to know him so you too can make him known.